Is your connection seeming a bit slow? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to perform an accurate speed test. In order to make sure the speed test results are as accurate as possible, what you're going to need to do is make sure that the device you're testing on is connected via a cable or a wire. Now, you can still do this test or perform this speed test via Wi-Fi. However, the results won't be as accurate if it had been done by wire. And that is down to the nature of Wi-Fi versus wires, which I'll go into in a lot more detail in this video here. What you're also going to want to do is make sure that the device you're testing on is the only device that's using the internet at that time. So what I mean by that is, if you're trying to run a speed test and get an accurate result, this result will be affected if someone's watching 4K Netflix in the other room. So you want to make sure that those devices aren't being used at the time of running this test. The same applies for the device you're working on. You want to make sure that the speed test is the only thing that is running at that time. If you're working through a VPN, or you have multiple tabs of other YouTube videos, for example, running, this will take away from your speed test, and the results you will get will not be accurate. Once you're happy with this, you want to open up your browser and go to speedtest.net, and select Change Server, and type Zen Internet, or search Zen Internet. Then go. This will bring you back an accurate measure of your speed, and if these results are in line with your service estimates, where previously you may have been achieving slower speeds, this would indicate that one of the programs or devices that you've turned off or disabled prior to running this test would have been using a large amount of your connection, and thus why you are getting slower speeds on this device. If, however, all you've done is gone from wireless to a wired connection and you've seen a dramatic increase in speeds, what I would advise doing is performing some Wi-Fi diagnostic checks just to see if there's any interference at home that might be causing this drop. And you can see how to do that in this video here. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button below. If you want more of these or you want to stay up to date with these how-to guides, click on that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you.